Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another message of the day. Sorry for the delay today. Today is 13th of November and the very first card we have Healer of the Ages and then 7th Chakra. Wonderful. I, I was hoping for some kind of uh, motivating cards because personally I was feeling a little low and that's why I could not record yesterday night for today and I was feeling like I need little more support, I need little more energy and this is right, healing energy coming right through the cosmos. The seventh chakra is your divine connection and the healing of the ages is like healer of the ages. Someone is trying to connect with you to heal you and show you the magic, magician and the mirror and goddess of the moon. How to deal with your emotions what they're saying is that the reason why people lose their uh, energy and they feel low is because they just jump into the ocean of emotions without thinking and they are drifted apart because of different emotions and each emotion tries to consume a lot of energy and that's why there is uh, loss of energy or drain feeling and you need to learn the magic there's nothing wrong in jumping in the ocean of emotions but you need to have a magical aura around you because when the emotions try to consume you you need to know how to deal with them because emotions are very important and you cannot just push them away under the carpet you, you shouldn't because it will come out even more strongly and that's what the cards are telling that you need to learn the magic of living in this magical plane that we are living in right now and you need to be more cautious about getting consumed in your own emotions it's not that others uh, are trying to drain your energy of course they might do that but then you are the one who is trying to drain your energy even more see the larger picture how things are getting connected for you in the divine cosmic order to create abundance in your life that's what they are saying so we have the sixth chakra and cornucopia oh god i can never pronounce that if you are following me uh, for some time you know whenever I, this card shows up i'm like stuck It looks like you are trying to decide whether you need to be with some emotion or someone or some project, whatever it is, uh, because it's very high maintenance or or it requires a lot of attention or somewhere it is something very new that you have not experienced before and it is making you think differently. It's challenging your status quo something like that and you are confused about it all around and what the cards are telling that you are tied up to that you cannot escape it so don't overthink don't get into emotional uh, stuff right now experience it because each day as it passes by you will find balance you don't have to worry about it and don't uh, try to be someone who is thinking what the other person is going to think what the larger community is going to think about what would i look into the uh, in others eyes how would i look in others eyes how much judgment will i have to face everything get, will get balanced out there is someone who is bringing a lot of love and attention to you professionally romantically or in some other form and that is good for you that's what they're saying and they are saying that uh, if you feel like you need to sign some dotted lines uh, like a contract in a professional setup like a marriage in a personal setup then yes everything is looking good I think it's a good place to end this reading here and thankfully the first card was the healer card which says that yes you are receiving a lot of healing energy and I'm very happy about that at least for myself.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye and namaste.